All right, guys. Hope you're doing pretty well. We've got um, a new uh, game for you here. Uh, first game of the uh, doubleheader, June 5th, uh, 1949. We have the Athletics of the Indians. And uh, to top things off, we're playing on a new computer as well. So I'm not sure how uh, easy it's going to be for you to read. Hopefully it'll be a little bit easier. The YouTube video should be in uh, higher quality at least. Um, Eddie Juice takes the ball there from Mike Garcia. Cleveland, of course, in first place. The Athletics about three and a half games out. This is a uh, pretty clutch and key series. One and one now the count on Juice. Next pitch in there is uh, right down the pipe for a strike one and two. Mike Big Bear Garcia, of course, uh, doing well in terms of strikeouts, pitching well this season. Three and three is record as he throws a second ball to Eddie. 3.16 ERA, and uh, he's uh, got Eddie at a full count now. Juiced, of course, is good at working them. And uh, there's a comebacker back to Garcia. He throws the first for the out, and that'll be the first out here. One away, top of the first inning, and here comes Elmer Vallo. Tell you, the Athletics uh, starts you off with uh, two guys who will take a lot of walks up there at the top of the order, and it's 2-0 uh, to Elmer right off the bat. Garcia's only given up 13 walks so far this season, so something's got to uh, uh, break here, but that's high for ball three. It's 3-0 and on Elmer. And uh, the next pitch is in there, and that's high and inside, so he loses him, and that'll bring up uh, Hank Majeski. Runner on at first base, just the start of things here. Here is Majeski, he takes a ball inside, and it's uh, been five straight balls by the Big Bear, and six, as that's down in the dirt. Uh, two no the count. Majeski's walked only 13 times. Ground ball, Keltner, good play on to uh, second for one to Gordon, and then back on to Vernon at first for the double play, and so the Indians get out of that. That's one straight out of the Athletics uh, playbook, and uh, we go to the bottom of the first inning. Here comes Ken Keltner, who uh, made that great play. He's going to lead this off. Now, most people would say you shouldn't lead him off in every game because um, he's uh, was so poor against lefties in real life as he takes a strike. Keltner, though, is getting on base, and he's got that great slugging percentage, so we keep hitting him high in the order one and one the count on him one and two and it's dick fowler up there who's uh pitching for uh, the athletics 4.25 the era five and three the record that's lined up uh, the gap in uh, right field moses though cuts it off that's going to be a single for kelner and that'll bring up larry doby doby's hitting 271 so far a uh, little bit of power seven home runs and he takes a strike at the knees uh, oh and one the count Good on-base percentage again and a very good slugging, slugging percentage, and that's off the plate for a ball. So it's 1-1 one one on Larry. That's inside for a ball. It's 2-1 uh, and one on him now, and uh, that one uh, misses again. 3-1 and one is the count. And uh, Fowler um, has given up quite a few walks so far, 49 so far this season. And that's a pop-up over right side. Fain ends up uh, grabbing that one just inside fair territory, actually, for the out one away, and that'll bring up Mickey Vernon. Runner still on first base. Kellner doesn't have much speed. Throw to first, nothing doing. Vernon uh, hitting 363, and that's hit to right field. That'll increase that average. Uh, Kellner will stop at second. No need to make that third out at third base. And uh, so here is uh, Lou Boudreau with uh, runners on at first and second. Uh, one out here, bottom of the first inning, and the question is, do we swing away or bun? We'll have him swing away. Uh, Boudreau is going to hit higher up in the lineup, I'll tell you that. He's been hitting very well, 354 the average. Uh, takes a ball outside, 442 on base percentage, and a 463 slugging percentage is one and one on him. And that is uh, blocked by uh, Mike Guerra. That's uh, up the line, but uh, nobody um, is able to move at all. So it's a two and one count now on Boudreau. That's high, three and one's the count, and he takes a strike. It's a full count now on Lou. It's fouled back. Uh, count remains full, and that's hit over to right field in front of Moses. He can't get there in time, and uh, we'll uh, do some running. Kellner and Vernon both going around to try to score. We'll have Boudreau go for second, and there's the throw to the plate. Kellner is thrown out, so uh, he ends up being thrown out of the plate by a good throw. It was that straight from Moses. We'll go back and uh, take a look, and, yeah, it was a throw straight from Moses, uh, so uh, he throws this man out of the plate. Vernon and Boudreau move up to uh, uh, third and second, and uh, that'll bring up uh, Dale Mitchell. Mitchell's hitting 371 after 132 uh, at-bats so far. Not too much power, a little bit, but not much by way of home run power. Looks at a ball low and away. And that's up high. So uh, two outs here, bottom of the first inning, no score. And uh, we've had excitement already as that uh, fork ball's in there for a strike, two and one. It's a uh, little ground ball over to the left side. Majeski gets over to uh, field it and throws over to first for the out. We go to the top of the second. It'll be um, Wally Moses there, takes a strike. And then a ball low and inside, one and one. And there's a big breaking ball that misses, two and one now on Moses. And that's low and outside, three and one the count. And the big bear, no, doesn't lose him. That's a pop-up over to the right side. Vernon has that for the out, one away. 
Sam Chapman up there now uh, takes a strike. 268 is his average, uh, six home runs. There's a breaking ball in there for another strike. There's a uh, little chopper over the head of Garcia. Boudreaux has that, throws on to first for the out, two away, and here comes uh, Ferris Fane. The ball inside to Fane, 1-0, and, oh, and there's a strike, 1-1. One one. There's a swing and a miss, a 1-1-2 one, one and two now the count on Ferris, and uh, that uh, one just missed somehow, 2-2 two and two is the count, and that's just low. It's full count now on Ferris Fane. That's hit into right center field. That'll be a base hit as that gets between Kennedy and Doby. And uh, so Fain makes it to first. And so we got top of the second inning, two men out. Uh, runner on at first base for the Athletics, no score. And here comes Pete Suter, Philadelphia with their first hit of this game. And Suter takes a ball. There's a strike down the heart of the plate. Pete only hitting 217, uh, doing a lot worse than expected. Two and one is the count on him. If he starts hitting the athletics, it's going to be really rough. Three and one as that one misses, and that's way inside, and Garcia's walk too, so it's uncharacteristic of him. That's only his 15th walk of the season after almost 60 innings pitched. Here comes Mike Guerra as he takes the ball. And another one way outside, 2-0. and oh. So Garcia not having a good time with his control, and that one misses inside, and there's a strike. Three and one the count. The foul ball, and it's a full count now on Guerra, and uh, he swings and misses at that as the runners were were moving, and uh, that's going to be the end of the top of the second. No score for the Athletics. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Still no score in this one, and here comes uh, Bob Kennedy. Kennedy uh, swings and misses at the first pitch from Fowler and then hits one deep to left field. That's back, 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 and Vallo has to play that off the wall. Kennedy with an easy double. That'll bring up Joe Gordon. So Kennedy makes it to second base. Gordon, former Yankee up there, hits uh, 253, eight home runs, a little bit of power so far, 31 men uh, driven in. Going to try for another one here, and he takes a fork ball low, one and knows the count. Round ball, second base, and uh, it's going to be uh, Suter, is that right? Yes, second baseman grabs that, uh, throws over to Fane at first, and Kennedy uh, sneaks over to third base. So with one out here is Jim Hegan with a chance to uh, get uh, Kennedy uh, driven in. Um, if it's uh, not going to be Hegan, it could always be Garcia. And then the question we have, of course, is do we bunt or do we swing away? I prefer to swing away in this situation, especially especially since uh, Kennedy's not very fast. There's a strike in there to Hegan. It's 0-1. That's tight for a ball. 1-1 the count. Fouled away, and it's 1-2. and two, So much for bunting. And it's fouled away again. 1-2. and two. That's ball 2 inside. 2-2 two and two on Jim. And that's high and away. So it's a full count on Jim Hegan. Fowler is in danger of losing him. And next pitch is in there, and that misses wide. And so Fowler does lose him, and that'll bring up Mike Garcia. And now you have a question. Do you bunt? Do you go for a suicide bunt? Do What do we do here? The infield's in on the corners. Garcia is in danger of hitting into a double play. And the athletics, of course, as you'll recall, set the uh, all-time record that still stands today for double plays in 1949. So we will try for a suicide squeeze. Let's get some excitement. Bunted back to the mound. Kennedy's already standing on top of the plate. Hegan makes it to second, and uh, Fowler's throw has to go to um, Suter, covering it first. It's a one nothing lead now for the Indians, so it works, and we timed that one well. And now here's Ken Kellner, who's one for one today, and he's got uh, 15 RBIs looking for number 16. He takes a ball inside. Two outs, bottom of the first. one nothing the score, and it's 2-0 and on Ken. That one misses again. It's 3-0. and He'll take this one all the way, and that's ball four low and away. Fowler with two walks so far this inning, and uh, that'll bring up uh, Larry Doby. Runners on at first and second here, bottom of the second inning. And uh, Doby takes a strike inside and hits a, a ground ball over to Suter. Good play by the second baseman. Throws to first in time for the out, and we go to the top of the third. So the Indians come up with one, and it'll be Dick Fowler here uh, leading this off for Philadelphia. Ground ball right side, uh, Gordon uh, throws over to first, one away. Now it's back to Eddie Juice. Juice, uh, last time up, uh, was out in a ground ball. He hits the first pitch he sees over to Larry Doby in center field for the second out. Kind of uncharacteristic of him to uh, be swinging first ball. And that will uh, bring up Elmer Vallo, who takes the ball. And another one, that's a strike, actually, low and away. Should have been ball two. One and one the count, and there's a strike a little bit high. One and two. Two and two is that one missed. There's a ground ball, third base. Keltner on to first for the out, and we go to the bottom of the third. Still one nothing Cleveland. Here is uh, Mickey Vernon. 366 the average as he takes a strike. Fouls one away, 0 oh and 2. Only two home runs for Mickey against 18 in real life, and he takes a ball. It's a 1 and 2. Fouled away again. Still 1 and 2 on Mickey. 
The ground ball deep to third. A good play by Majeski throws to first. That's deep in the dirt, and uh, Fane is able to scoop that one out uh, for the out, one away. Here comes Lou Boudreau, who's one for one today, hitting 358, hitting everything, and he fouls one away. There's another strike to him, 0-2 oh, quickly, and that's fouled off. 0-2 oh, still on Lou, and there's a ground ball. Eddie Juice at short with a great play, throws to first and gets him two gone. Dale Mitchell up there now, and there's a breaking ball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. Next pitch high and inside, 1-1 on Dale, and that's high again. It's 2-1. That's high again. 3-1 the count on Mitchell, and he'll be uh, laying in the weeds for this one, and it's a strike called. Full count now on Mitchell. Ground ball, Fane, first baseman, has that one flips over to Fowler for the out, and uh, we'll go to the top of the fourth inning. Still 1-0 Indians. Hank Majeski leads this off and takes the ball. 0-1. for Ground ball, left side, Keltner on to first, one gone, and here is Wally Moses. The ball low to Moses, and a strike, one and one the count. There's one in the dirt, two and one now on Wally. Swing and a miss, two and two. That's hit over to right field, and that's um, going to land in front of Kennedy for a base hit, only the second hit of the game for the Athletics. And so Wally Moses finds a way to get on base, and uh, that'll bring up uh, Sam Chapman. Runner on first base, uh, one out, top of the fourth, one nothing game. There goes Moses with that pitch, and uh, that swung on and missed. Hegan throws over to second and uh, gets him, and it was uh, Gordon who grabbed that one and made the tag. Chapman, uh, I think, uh, screwed up on that one. I think that was supposed to be a hit and run, and instead uh, he swung on and missed, and so there's a strike on him, and there are two men out, and uh, that didn't work the way he wanted it to. That's a curve high to him, so it's 1-1, one and, one, and that's fouled back. 1-2 and two on Sam. Low, 2-2. Two and two. Fly ball right center field. It'll be uh, Doby, the center fielder, making that catch. And uh, we go to the bottom of the fourth. Bob Kennedy will lead this one off here for the uh, Indians, uh, up one nothing. There's a strike in there to Kennedy. And that's hit deep to right field, but, of course, it's an airport out there. Moses goes back and grabs that for the out, one away. Here's uh, Joe Gordon. Takes the ball. That's hit deep to left, and that baby is out of here over Valo's head and uh, into the stands, and Gordon uh, trots around the bases, and uh, that makes this a 2 nothing game. For Joe Gordon, uh, that's home run number nine this season, and so uh, just like that, the Indians are up by two, and that'll bring up uh, Jim Hegan. Uh, there's a strike in their first pitch to uh, Hegan, 2 nothing so far Cleveland, and there's the ball inside. It's 1-1. One one. Another ball inside, 2-1 and one on Jim, and that's inside again. It's 3-1 and one on Hegan. There's ball four, and that one missed again. That's the third walk the Fowler's given up, and that'll bring up again Big Bear Garcia hitting 278. And there's a question here as to whether you bunt with him again or uh, have him swing away. Hegan's not particularly fast. I think the uh, bunt is in order here, considering what the athletics infield is like. Garcia sacrifices right side, and uh, it's going to be Fain who has that, turns around and throws to Suter, and Hegan moves up to second base. So two men out. Here's Ken Keltner. With another chance to drive a run in, one for one today, did walk last time up. And that's a ball inside on him, 1-0. and oh. Low and outside, it's 2-0 and oh on Ken. Fly ball left center field, and it's going to be Valo making the catch for the third out, and we go to the top of the fifth. So the bunt does not much of anything at all. Joe Gordon with that home run made it a 2 nothing ball game, and it'll be Ferris Fain here leading off the top of the fifth inning. Garcia has um, done a good job uh, recently, but that is uh, hit over to his uh, right side. Garcia goes over to field that one and ends up dropping it instead of making the throw. Fain makes first base on the air by Garcia, so the Big Bear was pitching pretty well and has given up a base runner immediately here in the top of the fifth. Brings up Pete Suter, and uh, there is a pitch belted to right field, but Kennedy is able to go back and get that for the out one away. Mike Guerra now, and interesting, they were playing hit and run instead of having Fane steal. Here's a strike over to Guerra. It's 0 and 1. It's a slider high, 1 and 1. Swing and a miss on that is 1 and 2 now on Guerra. Round ball behind the mound. Boudreau has that, but not in time. No play at second, no play at first. And so it's an infield hit for Mike, and uh, that means runners on at first and second. Only one out here, top of the fifth, and uh, Philadelphia has something uh, cooking. Here's Dick Fowler, and he bunts one third base side foul. It's 0-1. Second one he tries to bunt is popped up and out of play. It's 0-2. Uh, 
There's a ground ball over to third base. Uh, Keltner has that one. He ends up going to uh, the second baseman, uh, Gordon, for one, and on to Vernon at first for the double play. And so it's the worst of both worlds, and you kind of wonder why you don't just have foul or bunt there even with two strikes. And we go to the bottom of the fifth. Still goose eggs on the board for the Athletics. 2 nothing. the Indians with the lead. And uh, here comes uh, Larry Doby. So uh, Doby up there now, 0 for 2 today. Uh, fouls one away. It's 0-1. There's a strike in their breaking ball. 0-2 oh, on Larry. That's in the dirt. 1-2. and two. Ground ball behind second. Uh, Juiced uh, ends up with that one on to first for the uh, one away. Here's uh, Mickey Vernon. It's ripped to right center field, and it's going to be Moses, actually. Right fielder has that for the out. There's two on just like that, and here's uh, Lou Boudreau. Takes the ball inside and hits the next one over to third base. Majeski on to first for the out, and we go to the top of the sixth. Still 2 nothing Cleveland. And here comes Eddie Juice, two fouls, one away. The chopper over to Garcia. The pitcher throws to first, one gone. Elmer Vallow now. And uh, it's high for a ball to Elmer, 1-0, and and that's wide, 2-0. and There's another one wide, 3-0 and on Vallow, and that's outside and low, and so Vallow takes his base. Garcia's walked three today, only one strikeout, which is not what he usually pitches like. Here comes Hank Majeski, and he grounds that one up the box for a base hit past Garcia and through Boudreau and Gordon. And uh, Vallo has to hold at second. Runners on at first and second now with one out, and that'll bring up Wally Moses. Moses today is one for two. Um, he has two home runs so far this season, hitting fairly well. There's a pop-up, and uh, that was inside and really jammed him. Gordon has that one for the out, and there's two away. So Moses first pitch swing, and I bet he regrets that now. Two gone. Here's uh, Sam Chapman. Runner still on first and second. And there's a ball inside. One and oh. That's lined straight to Keltner at third, who makes the catch, and uh, we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Still 2 nothing Indians. Dale Mitchell will lead this one off, hitting 366, but 0 for 2 today as he takes a strike. Uh, there's another strike right over the plate. Very good pitch by uh, Fowler. And then a ball 1 and 2 now the count. That's way outside, 2 and 2 now on Mitchell. Fouled away, still 2 and 2. There's a ground ball. Second base suitor has that on to first, and there's one away. Bob Kennedy up there next. Uh, one out, and that's a line drive just foul past Majeski. 0 oh, and 1's the count. And there's a ball low to uh, Kennedy. 1 and 1. Foul the way. 1 and 2 now on Bob. 2 and 2. So that was low. Ground ball, third base side, and uh, it's uh, Fowler who has that one. Throws to Fain. It's a wide throw, but Fain able to hold the bag, makes the catch for the out, two gone. That'll bring up uh, Joe, Joe uh, Gordon again, who's one for one today. Hit that home run, making this a two-run ball game. He takes a strike, and then a ground ball over to second. Suter has that on to first, and we go to the top of the second. It'll be Ferris Fain here for the Athletics. Takes a strike. Athletics only four hits in this game, no runs. One and one the count. And there's a ground ball right side through for a hit. And there's number five. Cleveland also only with five hits so far. Top of the seventh. Here's Pete Suter. Hits one over to third base. And Keltner has that one. His only play at first base. And he makes it. Fane goes to second. And there's one away from Mike Guerra, who uh, takes a ball. That one's low. Two and zero oh on Mike. That's over the inside corner for a strike. It's two and one. And that one just misses three and one now on Guerrero. And that's foul back. It's a full count on Mike. And that's pulled foul out of play. Count remains full. A line shot over to second. Gordon knocks that one down, his only play at first. And uh, that means there's two away here at the top of the seventh. And uh, Ferris Fane moves over to uh, third base. That'll bring up Dick Fowler, the pitcher, is 0 for 2 today, pulling his average down to 406 after 32 at bats. Swing and a miss on that sinker is 0-1. There's another swing and a miss. 0-2 oh, now on Fowler. And that one just misses. 1-2. and two. Low and outside, 2-2. Two and two. Fouled away again, 2-2. Two and two. That's popped up over right field. Kennedy's got that for the out. And uh, we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. So the Athletics getting close. They're getting runners on base but can't get them across. And here's Jim Hegan for Cleveland. He uh, takes a strike and then pops one up right side. Fain ends up uh, grabbing that for the out. Suter almost crashes into him, but now it's the first baseman who makes the play. And no damage done. One away, and here is uh, Mike Garcia. It's a strike at the knees to Mike. And a ground ball second base. Suter throws to first. Two out. Ken Keltner comes up there now. Two away. Takes the ball. Fouled away. One and one now on Ken. 
Let's head over to right field, base hit, and uh, Moses uh, gets in front of that one, but uh, Kellner just stays at first base. He's now two for three. That'll bring up Larry Doby. Doby, I've noticed as I've played this replay, has this kind of strange habit of uh, kind of disappearing from time to time. And he's disappeared in this game, and uh, he lines the first pitch he sees over to Suter at second. So uh, that's uh, the third out, and we go to the top of the eighth. Eddie Juiced up there to lead it off. He's 0 for 3 today, and he takes the uh, slider high, 1 0. Garcia, 2 0 now. Garcia's fall, fallen behind a number of hitters. 2 uh, 0 pitch is a hit over to Boudreau at short, who throws to first. There's one away. One out, and that'll bring up Elmer Valo, who's walked twice. He takes a ball high. Another one inside. It's 2-0 and in Elmer. There's a ground ball right side in Gordon. Second baseman has that. Flips to first. There's two away. And here comes Hank Majes- Majeski. Majeski's one for three today. It takes a ball inside. Then a strike. One and one. That one misses. It's 2-1 and one in Hank. And that's fouled away. 2-2, two and two, just like that. And one just misses off the outside corner. Full count now on Hank. It's a ground ball over to Boudreau. It's short again. He throws to first. And uh, we go to the bottom of the eighth. Still 2 nothing Cleveland. Here comes Mickey Vernon. His line to left field over to Elmer Vallo. First pitch swinging, and that's the uh, first out. One away. Here's uh, Lou Boudreau. Ground ball, second base. Suter throws to first. There's two away, and here comes uh, Dale Mitchell. He fouls one away and takes the ball. One and one the count on Mitchell. Popped up Fain uh, over into foul ground, makes the catch, and we go to the top of the ninth. So uh, Cleveland hasn't exactly done a great job here at uh, forcing a fouler to throw a lot of pitches, but then again, the Athletics have been swinging at the first pitch as well. Wally Moses comes up and takes a ball and another ball. It's 2-0. and oh. There is a strike inside corner, 2-1. and one. Ground ball, uh, sorry, line, uh, fly ball rather, over to Kennedy in right field for the out, one away. Here is uh, Sam Chapman, who's over 3 and he takes a strike, 0 and 1. There's the ball off the play, 1 and 1 on Sam, and there's one at the knees. It's uh, 1 and 2. Ground ball, Vernon, first base, and uh, he goes to the bag himself, but Garcia runs over there as well, and he boxes out the first baseman, and that means that uh, the uh, batter, Chapman, is going to be safe at first. Uh, I would like to kind of know what happened there on defense. That was a uh, kind of an odd play. Certainly not the sort of play you see every day, fortunately, and so Chapman makes it to first. And so with one out, there's a runner on at first base for the Athletics, and they're not dead yet. Ferris Fain up there now takes the ball high. And that's low. Two and no the count on Ferris. Foul ball, it's two and one. And that one just misses. It's three and one. Garcia's in danger of walking another. And that's hooked down the line for a fair ball. That's uh, over to which line? I'm not quite sure. That ends up being a triple for Fain. This is another one of these plays where I'm not quite sure I fully understand what happened, and that makes this a uh, two-to-one ball game uh, for the uh, Indians. And so uh, the Athletics really coming back here, and now there's a question as to what to do um, with the uh, man who's left. So Garcia um, has uh, struggled, and the struggles are getting the best of him here. Two to one as the Athletics finally come across with a run here in the top of the ninth, and uh, there's only one man out. Here comes Suter with the infield in. We'll keep Mike in there. There's a ball low. Another one low. Two and oh, the count on Pete. It's high and inside. It's three and oh. And there's a strike. Three and one, the count on Suter. There's a bullet into the left field uh, through the hole for Suter, and that'll tie this one up. And so uh, we have a tie game here, top of the ninth inning, 2-2 tie, and the uh, Athletics have really come back in this one. Um, so uh, top of the ninth inning, Suter ends up getting the big base hit that ties this ball game. That'll bring up uh, Mike Guerra, and uh, this game's been sort of turned on to its head. Eight hits now for the Athletics, two runs. There's a ball and two balls now to uh, Guerra. There is a strike, two and one the count. Let's hit over to right center field. Kennedy can't get there in time, and that uh, sends uh, Suter over to third. That'll bring up the pitcher Fowler. So the question now is, what do we do? Do we take Garcia out right away? Do we uh, wait and see what uh, change uh, the uh, computer decides to make? I think we wait first and see what change they decide to make. They're not going to have Fowler uh, stay in this ballgame, I don't believe. And no, they do. And so there's a pitch line to right center field, and Fowler gets the base hit, and that's uh, double for Fowler just like that, and that's kind of unexpected, and that will really knock Mike Garcia out of this game. He's given up uh, three runs here in the uh, top of the ninth inning, um, and, uh, boy, I tell you, you uh, so there's this sort of uh, first act, uh, uh, first uh, mover right that uh, the um, – 
uh, I guess it's the defense technically that has this in this game, but naturally I think you want to sort of wait and see who they put up there. But um, the pitcher stays up, and uh, next thing you know, he's getting a base hit. It's going to be Sam Zoldak who's going to come in here to this game uh, to pitch for Cleveland. And uh, let's see if he can at least sort of stop the bleeding. So three to 3-2 ball game. Zoldak, no earned runs given up. 1-0 and this season. Throws the ball over to Eddie Juice, and then that's fouled away. It's 1-1 and in Eddie. Set to right center field. Uh, Doby runs over and grabs that for the out, and uh, that will score another run. It's a 4-2 to two lead for Philadelphia. Two outs as uh, Fowler moves to third. Here comes Elmer Vallo. It's a ball inside of Vallo, 1-0. and oh. Ground ball, third base line, and uh, Zoldak uh, ends up uh, running over, grabbing that, and throwing wildly to first. That'll allow another run to score. It's a 5-2 to two lead. Five runs this inning for the Athletics, and here comes Hank Majewski. Fouls one away, 0-1. Oh Head over to right field, and uh, Kennedy makes that catch for the out, and uh, we go to the bottom of the ninth. Five to two. This game's been turned on its head in a hurry, and uh, here comes Bob Kennedy for uh, Cleveland. There's a ball low to uh, Kennedy. One and zero the count, and that's inside on him. Two and zero, high three and zero, and he takes ball four from Fowler, and that's one of the reasons why I was kind of curious as to why they uh, decide to leave uh, Fowler into the game to hit for himself. Joe Gordon comes up there next with a runner on at first, down by three. Gordon already with a home run in this game, and he fouls one away, 0-1 oh, oh the count. Round ball over to uh, Majeski goes to Suter for one, but they can't complete the double play, so they get one out of it. Here comes uh, Jim Hegan. We'll leave Hegan in here as he takes a ball high. Fouls one away. It's 1-1. Uh, one one. He's walked twice so far today. And there's a ground ball back to Fowler. Turns around to Suter for one and on to Fane for the double play. It's a patented uh, 1949 Athletics double play. And that ends this one. So the Athletics get the uh, big comeback top of the ninth inning. They score five and win this game five to two. And uh, so sad for uh, Garcia. And uh, that's kind of the end of this one. Hope you enjoyed this game. A real surprise ending there for you. And um, I'll talk with you again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.